sí. ¡Wow! ¡Qué bárbara! ¿Para dónde va, Norma? ¡Ey! ¡Can you take a picture? Hey, let, let me, 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 present yourself. I, I felt, how, how do you say? Your, yourself. Myself. Uh, myself. 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 Ah, entonces mejor let me, let me show my, my t-shirt. Your shirt. Ah, that's right. You, you, you just say yeah. Ah, oh, well, I don't know if it is pink. Ay, really. ay, it's like, ay, 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 I don't have I don't have a purple shirt to be honest with you. Y el peinado, Jorge. Ah, ese, ese me faltó el cabello suelto. Como... El peinado. How do you say? Okay. Look at Jesse. He's, he's looking for the glasses. He she Good evening, to see Jorge. Hi, how are you? I see everybody's Jesse. happy. Everybody is why. purple. Everybody is purple here. Everybody's purple today. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you should you should have told me. You should have sent me a message to the group like t-shirt today is purple day. No, it's just for a special group. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> ah, tomorrow it will be another color. Okay, okay. okay. You you can you choose a color for tomorrow because we will have a class tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Um, choose a color. Go okay, let's go with blue. Got it. Okay. Um. Elige blue. color. Blue. Les dijo que ya tu color dijo mira. Ah. No, yeah. el favorito de la Edma. <laughs> My favorite color. Your favorite color. All right. So um, let's see if we get more people coming right now. Uh, we are seven. Okay. Where's the rest? Isaura, how how would you like to use the hair for tomorrow? I don't know. <laughs> how do you say suelto, teacher? Luz? Messi? Uh, <laughs> Falto today. Falto tomorrow? No. No. <laughs> Dos colitas. Dos colitas, Sadie. <laughs> the Chilindrina style, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so we're ready. And um, did you finish writing your did you finish writing your review? <laughs> That's your son, I suppose. Yes, it's my son. My nephew. Él quiere aprender inglés también. Dice con sus tías Brandy y Azalia. Nice. Yes. Brandy they... likes teaching, so that would be a piece of cake. They visit me today. Really? Really? Yeah. For real? In person? In person. Yeah. So you are you are you you live close to each other? No. <laughs> no. <Nope>. No. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. <laughs> she was near, and I say, ah, oh, why you don't come and visit me? And they say, okay, and I say, okay. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. Yeah, something to happen. All right. So uh, we got Jorge, Evelyn, hello, Melvin, Norma, Nelson, Brandy, Emma, Isaura, Jancy, and Jenny. Welcome. So, uh, as you remember, today we are going to share, right, the little review that you wrote about one restaurant. 
that was the the activity for you to complete at home, right? I know you're always at home. Uh, for you to complete, right? Virtually and um, basically just that. But before we do that, before we do that, we're going to do a little activity uh, to practice pronunciation, but more than pronunciation is fluency, okay? So for that reason, I am going to share with you or to show you on the screen, let's say, um, three tongue twisters, three tongue twisters. Do you know what a tongue twister is? Yes or no? No. Yeah, Travalenguas, no, I was on please, mute. <laughs> please tell me. Yes, that's correct. So that's a tongue twister, okay? And uh, I will show you right now uh, the first one. Jenny is with blue too. Ah, oh, purple. <laughs> blue. <laughs> okay, if you're wearing blue uh, today, no, so no, you no. Don't have to wear purple, 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 purple. It's purple. Tomorrow. It's tomorrow, purple. Tomorrow, blue. Tomorrow will okay. be blue, sorry. Okay, okay. So um, we're going to, I'm going to show you on the screen. Wait a second. Okay. Okay, uh, can you see the screen right no, yeah. now? Wait a second, wait a second. Yes or no? No yet. No yet, oh, it's loading. No yet. Just wait a little. right now yes okay perfect so we got um the first one that is uh the worst word in the world is war that's the first one okay you can listen and repeat the worst the worst word word word, 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 word. in the world in the, in the world, 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 no. world, world, the difficult, world, okay, that is the most difficult word, world. because you have three consonant sounds, you have the sound of the letter R, the letter L, and the letter D, mm -hmm. so you say, for example, if I eliminate the letter L, D, and L, you say word, right, uh -huh. word, right, word, right, Word. If I add the letter L, you say world. 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 Okay. World. Oh. World. La punta de la world. lengua toca la parte de, 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 de atrás world. de los dientes. Un poquito arriba en el, en el cielo. Okay. World. World. Okay. World. Um, world. And then when we have two consonants, we add one more. And we say world. 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 Uh -huh. So we say world. Yep. World. Okay. Number one is the worst word the worst in the world, world in the is world. World. Word. The word in this world. Okay. The Together world. we say the worst word in the world is war. The worst word is war. Okay. So war. just practice. Okay. War just practice. or war al final. War is war. war. It's war. like, uh oh, war. Uh, it's war. war. Uh -huh, it's war. war. Okay. Yeah. That's number one. So you just repeat it, right? And you go like that. Now, the next one, the second one is. Sally sits on a shoe shine shop 
where she sits. sits she shines. Where she sits, she shines. And where she shines. She sits. She sits. So I'm going to separate them a little bit so you don't get confused. So number two is Sally sits on a shoe shine shop. Okay, shine shoe shop. is complete. <laughs> shoe shine shop. Shine shop. Where she shop. sits. She, she shop. shines. Where she, where she shines. She, she sings and the words she sings. She's not chicha, right? She shines, right? She shines. Now we repeat. Sally sits. Sally sits. Sally sits on a shoe shine shop. On my shoe shine shop. Shine shop. Shoe shine, not shoe cha, no. Shine, 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 shine. Shine. Where she sits, she shines. Where she where sits, where she shines. shines. She and where she shines, she sits. And where she shines, where she, she, sits. She, she sits. Okay, where she shines, she sits. Okay, now together, you say it. Sally sits on a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines, or where she shines, she sits. Sally sits on a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Like Chinese, right? Okay, now you're learning Chinese. Okay. Okay, so we're going to practice one and two, okay, in the breakout rooms. Uh, you can take a screenshot, okay? Um, yeah, I don't have my WhatsApp open here. Teacher, yo no puedo ver lo que está compartiendo. Really? You can see now on the group. Okay. Go to WhatsApp. You got a good screenshot? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's go on. Okay, so I'm going to create the breakout rooms for you to practice in groups of three. So you practice number one and number two. The worst word in the world is word. Sally sits on a shoe shine shop where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Okay, like that. So we have uh, 16 participants. Excellent. We're going to have, um, you see, somebody said that was going to be just as a listener, right? I think it was uh, Nubia, and I'm not sure, uh, Nelson, if you can use the microphone today, let me know, please. Nelson? Adam? Okay. Probably no. So we have Jorge, Melvin, Nelson, Norma in group one, group two, Edwin, Isaura, and Sylvia. Group three, Brandy, Norma, and Susana. Uh, well, we have two Normas, right? Norma Callejas in the first group and Norma Lizano in the group number three. Room number four okay. is uh, Giselle, Jancy, Jenny, and group number five, Edna, Evelyn, and Jesus. Okay, so don't forget you have to pronounce the words correctly, but you have to say the tongue twister in a fluent way, right? In a natural way. So uh, everybody in the group, right? So for example, Edma, number one and two, then Evelyn, number one and two, Jesus, number one and two, okay? Everybody's going to practice. For okay. this, you will have uh, four minutes maximum, and here we go. See you in a moment. Bye. Okay, Nelson said that he cannot use the microphone. Got it.
Okay, I said the invitation to join the breakout rooms. Nice. We are just missing Norma. Callejas. And Nelson as a listener, right? You're just going to enter to listen to your classmates. Uh, the second one, Sally, Sal, Sally sits on a shoe shine shop where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Okay, my turn. And number one, the worst word in the world is word. The second one, Sally sits on a shoe shine shop where she sits, she shines. And where she shines, she sits. Nice. Okay, sure. then you just practice and try to say it faster, right? And now sure. it's normal. Yeah, I have a question. Uh, uh, um, First question, question, question. Okay, is it, it sit or sit? Sits, sits. Sally sits. sits. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Norma, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. See? How do you say es mi turno in English? The word, the word is war. Mm -hmm. On a shoe shine shop. Where she is. She shine and where she shine, she sits. Okay, the worst word in the world is war. Sally sit on the shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Demore, otra vez. Finished? Yes. I voy yo, I voy yo, I voy yo, I voy yo. My turn, the it's word, my turn. My turn in the world is war. Sally sits on a shoe shine shop where she sits. She shines in where she shines, she sits. Next. All right, so the time is over. And wait a second. So we're going to go to the last one. So for the last one, you will have to memorize it. And tomorrow you are going to tell me the tongue twister one by one, okay? See you later. Recording in progress. All right, so everybody finished? Everybody practiced? Yes, no? Yes, excellent. Okay, I need uh, one volunteer for every group. One volunteer per group. So from group number one, I need one volunteer from group number two, three, four, five. Okay, group number one, we had, uh, okay, they are still in the breakout room. We have to wait for them. Uh, number two, we have uh, Edwin, Isaura, and Sylvia. Group number three, Brandy, Norma, uh, Lisano, and Susana. Group number four, Jancy and Jenny. And group number five, Edma, Evelyn, and Jesus. So, one volunteer okay. from the group number one, please. Hi. One from two. Okay, from two. Uh, Jenny, you are in group number three. Number four, yes. sorry. Uh -huh. Okay, so Jenny, go. The worst word in the world is war. Yep. Sally, Sally sits on a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines. And where she shines, she sits. Correct. Excellent. Okay. Reactions for her. Some claps, some thumbs up, some taras or some hearts or the emoji that you prefer. 
All right, next one uh, from the group number one, one volunteer, Jorge, Melvin, Nelson, or Norma Callejas. Okay, okay. from the group. Oh, okay, 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 perfect. The, Wait a second, sí. Jorge. Uh, Melvin, raise the hand first. Okay, vamos a ir porque le ató la mano primero. So, okay. Melvin, in this case. <laughs> okay. Mano más rápida, lejano este. Okay, go ahead. The, the first, the worst word in the world is war. Shari sits on a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shine, and where she shine, she sits. Nice, there you go. Excellent. Thank you so much, Melvin. We go with the surprise emoji. Next one, room number two. We have Edwin, Isaura, and Sylvia. Who is a volunteer? Isaura coach. No, Edwin. <laughs> ladies Edwin. first, ladies first. Okay. Nah. <laughs> He's a gentleman. He's a gentleman. Nah. Cuando le conviene. Okay. No, no. <laughs> when convenient. Okay. <laughs> okay, lo voy a intentar. The worst word in the world is war. Sally sit on a shoe shine show where she sit, she shine, and where she shine, she sit. She sits. Okay, don't wow. forget the S. The S at the end, yeah. The Chinese one. Okay. Nice. Thank you, Isara. Room number four. No, number three. We had Brandy, Norma, and Susanna. Who will be the volunteer? Me, Norma. teacher. Okay. Norma, raise your hand first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. Norma. Bravo. Nice. The work the lady work purple. in the world. Is work. Sally sits on a shoe shine shop where she sits, she signs, and where she signs, she sits. She sits. There you go. Excellent. So you see, um, you didn't say chucha, chicha, chancho. No, you said the correct pronunciation. Excellent. So, what is the difference between the SH and the CH? The SH is long. So you say she, right? Shaw, shop, right? Yeah. So, and the CH is short. So you say chop, right? Chop. Or yeah. uh, you say uh, chat, right? Chat. I'm going to chat. So yeah. um, it's, it's short sound. It's a short sound. Number five, we have Edma, Evelyn, and Jesus. Who is a volunteer for the team number five? Jesus is a volunteer. Okay. The worst word in the world is war. Sally sits on a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines. And where she shines, she sits. Wow. Okay. Fast and furious. So it's not war. It's war. The last word, the first. Yeah, sentence. that was the only one. That was the only one. War. Uh huh. But I good, really good fluency. Everything. Really good fluency, uh, Jesus. Nice. Now, you have homework. You have one tongue twister for homework. And the tongue twister is... Ten, 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 ten. Number three. And the tongue twister goes like this. Betty wow. Bottom bought butter, but the butter Betty Bottom bought was bitter. So Betty Bottom bought more butter to make the bitter butter better if you say it all together right like a tongue twister it sounds more or less like this very bottom but butter but the butter very bottom but was bitter so very bottom more, more butter to make the bitter butter better i got a little uh -huh. there so very bottom i, mean, I could, bottom, I could react and you were so fast so very bottom but more butter to make the bitter butter better so that's the last the most difficult part probably the last part so, very bottom, but more butter to make the bitter butter better. Bitter, bitter, butter, better. Okay, so we have very bottom, but butter, but the butter, very bottom, but, but, okay, was bitter. 
So very much more, more butter to make the bitter butter better. Bitter butter better. Okay. So we have the different sounds of the of the. Huh? So this is for tomorrow. At the beginning of the class, one by one, you have to tell me the tongue twister number three. Okay, that is your entry ticket. Okay, for tomorrow. So uh, right now we are going to. Um, Move on, and we're going to practice the assignment. So the homework was for you to write a little review about a restaurant, okay, that you visited recently, right? And um, you are just going to read. Read your review. You have it in your notebook, in your cell phone, or in your computer. You read it for your group. So you're going to continue in the same groups, okay, groups of three, and um, you just share your experience right with your with your classmates all right here we go for this activity for this part you will have six minutes that means that you have two minutes each okay two minutes each uh in the case of uh nelson he cannot use a microphone so you can write it in the chat right for your classmates to read it um then the rest okay i think that we are complete going to double check. Okay. Yeah. So, uh -huh. Nubia is here, uh, but she cannot use a microphone, so she's going to be listening only. Okay. Uh, then who else? Who else? Elsa. Okay, here. Nice. And I will move some people here to have the groups complete. Wait a second, four. Okay, so here we go. Six minutes, you share your, your review about a restaurant that you visited recently. Remember to be specific, right? To be detailed. So you mentioned the, the, your opinion about the food, about the place, about the location, about the prices, the cost of the food, the drinks, the desserts the menu, the waiters, the waitresses, the manager, whatever you want, okay? Um, ready, set, and go. Only English, don't forget, only English. Right, to set the invitation to join the breakout room. Nice. Okay, Silvia, Nelson, uh, uh, Norma Callejas, and Nubia. You can join the breakout room now. Okay, to work with your classmates. Nice, we have group number one complete. Number two is missing Silvia. Number four is missing Nelson. And number five is missing Norma Callejas. Nice. All right. I will go to the number two. What is accessible? And they have the best dessert in town. It's extreme Sunday. Its price is three dollars. I love it. And the only thing I didn't like is because was very noisy. There were a lot of people. Oh, okay. it was noisy. noisy. The place was noisy. Okay. Teacher, uh, I said to Norma uh, that I know I don't write in the article, but uh, now I remember uh, a few days ago I went uh restaurant called your name give me a minute um wendy's wendy's okay San miguel uh, la co wendy's la coquera yeah you know 
Okay. Uh, okay, uh, sure. How, I, how was your experience there? How was your experience? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the the hamburger hamburgers are very very good, delicious. Uh, the restaurant Charlie's Boys. Oh, creo que vamos a entrar. Otro. No. Eh, el, the restaurant is Charlie Boy. The Charlie Boy is location in a street. Vol eh, volcán o volcán street eh, is very different a uh, other restaurant because eh, eh, have, have, it has have, it has it has there uh -huh. have there have a uh, different dishes for example pizza, hamburger, and different flowers, for uh, for example, uh, mushroom, and, and pork, and sea, and sea food, and seafood, seafood. Yes. Um, Sunday, I go to play football in the afternoon. Okay, everybody finished? Yes. Nice. Okay, yeah, because the time is over, so you have just the 60 seconds to go back. Wait a second. <laughs> so, which restaurants did you mention? I mentioned La 29. La 29, okay. Yes. I mentioned uh, Punta Toro. Punta Toro, okay. Yes. And Jesus? I eat in the Sunset Park. I don't remember the restaurant. Ah, okay, okay, got it. Nice. Hi. I'm so sorry. Hmm. I'm practical, chicas. Just me. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel so embarrassed. Why? Because the break room you was just for me. El que sabe se divierte, dice. <laughs> so not everybody practice in the breaker in the breaker in the breaker room. Oh one point less for Brandy. <laughs> Let's see. Isaura <laughs> and Susana, right? So Isaura, what is, what is, what was your experience? Your restaurant experience? Yeah. Well, on my last vacation, I went to the restaurant Mamaruca, located okay. in San Vicente near San Esteban. I went with my family, a very nice place where the weather is cool and the food is delicious. A place costs about Twelve dollars. Is this in this restaurant? You will find all uh, kinds of food and beverage. Price vary depending on what you order. What I don't like is that the place is far from my home, but it is a place I would recommend. Okay, Mama Ruka, you said right. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Class for Isaura, and the other person that didn't have the opportunity to practice was Susana. Susana. Susie, are you there? Yes. Can you use your microphone? Yes. Nice. Yes. Can you so hear me? How was, what was your experience? Yeah. Okay. On this occasion, I am going to talk about a restaurant that I visited last week. I okay. love to eat fish. And the best place, yes, and the best place to eat fish in San Vicente is the Apastepeque Lagoon. Uh -huh. um, I want to go there. There are restaurants, uh -huh. <laughs> there are restaurants around the lagoon 
and at the moment they take your order, uh -huh. um, they catch and cook the the fish the according fish. to the according to the size or price that you prefer. Nice. I visit, yes, I visit uh, some of those restaurants in almost all of them, the food is very good. There is one that is the most famous for its infrastructure. 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 It is very beautiful and attractive. Uh, the food is good too. They they sell fried fish, chicharron, teacher. That would be pork chunks. Pork chunks. Yep. El pescado. And fish. Ah. Pork wait. chunks. Chicharron de pescado. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, mm. chums, tough fish, cocktails, okay, etc. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there are also such as sodas, juices, water, frozen beers, and the prices are fair. The attention is bad. We waited for food. Okay. I suppose it's due to to lack of staff and the dem and the demand of the place is great. Okay. That's so. Excellent. <laughs> so class for her, please. Very we good. Go Thank you for sharing, Susana. That was a nice description of the restaurant that you visited. Okay, that reminded me of uh, Lago Yohoa. It's a similar experience, okay, to uh, Master Beckett, apparently. Now, we're going to move on. And uh, so just to wrap this up, uh, the lesson, right? Uh, if you have any questions, remember that you can ask at any moment. And um, during the class or uh, on the chat, right, as well. So I'm going to share the screen with you. So the topic that you see, uh, well, to finish this, you only have the writing that it was a restaurant review. So you did an excellent job, to be honest. Uh, I like the descriptions you had. And the reading that we practiced yesterday, right, was for pronunciation. Um, now, just for vocabulary, we have six different words, but only one of them is the correct meaning. Right, the correct meaning uh, of the word. For example, wages. Is that regular pay for a job or the tips received for a job? What do you think is the correct definition? Pay for a job. Regular pay regular for a job. Pay for a job. Yes, wage, or in this case, plural wages, okay, is a synonym of salary, okay? Next, uh, pleased. Pleased means to be happy or satisfied or to be annoyed or bothered. Pleased. When you feel pleased. Happy, happy or satisfied. Happy or satisfied. Yes, happy or satisfied. That's correct. Uh, so, for example, when you go to a restaurant and the experience is good, you say, I am pleased with the attention, the, the food, and everything. So, you are pleased. Okay? If you want to say, uh, for example, estoy complacido conocerle, you say, pleased to meet you, right? I'm pleased to meet you. It's another form to say, I am I am glad to meet you, or I'm happy to meet you, or I'm, I'm uh, what else? Another one? Happy. Yeah, I'm happy to meet you. Uh -huh. So you say, I'm pleased to meet you. Okay, uh, number three, uh, depend on. Depend on. Depend on change. is be the same as or change according to. Change according be to. The same. 
Be the same as or change according to? Change according to? Change according to, correct, Melvin. That is the definition for depend on. For example, uh, you tell me, teacher, do we have a, do we have homework for the weekend? It depends. Depends on what, teacher? It depends on your participation during class because if in class, if in class you participate, you practice, you do your homework, I don't think it's necessary they have extra homework on the weekend, right? Because you practice during during the classes, so during the week, so that's enough. So it depends on your participation, your practice during the week. But if you don't practice, if you don't participate, no, these students need homework. So they will have extra homework. Okay, that's what the teachers normally do, right? When the students don't practice. Um, now, behavior is a way of acting or a way of feeling? Feeling. A way of acting. The uh -huh. correct answer is a way of okay. acting. Okay, behavior. So, for example, my, my brother's behavior is very good. I would say it's very good because he is respectful. Uh, he's uh, quiet. He is very polite. Okay. So his behavior with people is nice. With my sister, not so nice. Uh, <laughs> so behavior is, is the way that we uh, act, the way that we act. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can have good behavior or bad behavior. Okay, uh, and then treat. Treat is ignore or act toward. Act toward. Act toward. Act toward, correct. Uh, so for example, you treat your classmates with respect. So you treat me with uh, respect as well. I treat you with uh, a lot of attention, with a lot of uh, understanding, right? So treat, okay? You, we need to treat people the way that we like to be treated, okay? Tratar como queremos ser tratados, right? Treat someone the way you like to be treated. And then the last one, number six, is respect. Respect is, a, is courtesy or rudeness? Courtesy is the correct answer. Now, uh, this is the appropriate tipping behaviors, okay? So the question is, what is acceptable, okay? Let's suppose, number one, your haircut costs $30. You love it. You tip the stylist with $2. Is that acceptable? Mm -hmm. No, in El Salvador, no. <laughs> no, no well, right. not here. It's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> well, in El Salvador, probably you don't give a tip. But in another country, if you give $2, mm, it's not enough, right? Maybe $3 because that would be 10%. Eh, no, 10%. Eh, let's say, yeah, 10%, $3. Uh, so maybe, maybe $10, $3 or more. Now, Number two, a porter at the airport helps you with three suitcases and you tip him with $6. Is that acceptable? Yes, I think, yes. If the pen. <laughs> it depends because suitcase usually is, is big. I mean, a suitcase is big. Una maleta de viaje is normally big. And he helps you with three and you give him $6. In El Salvador, maybe you say, yeah, hey, it's okay. But in another country, mm, maybe not. Okay. Your fast food meal costs $8. You don't leave a tip. Is that acceptable in El Salvador? Mm. Fast food, I think. Yeah, for fast food, it's like $8 for a hamburger. Oh, my goodness. Okay, no tip. Uh, like that, right? Okay. Yeah, probably it's acceptable. You stay in a hotel for one week and you leave a $5 tip for the hotel maid. 
Every day or for the week? For the week. Acceptable. <laughs> for Melvin is acceptable. I yeah. think it's not acceptable for one week. Um, maybe one dollar per day, right? <laughs> Seven dollars. Okay, but five dollars, maybe not. Okay, the last one. Your taxi ride, let's suppose that is your Uber ride, costs $14. The driver carries your bag and you tip him with $3. Is that acceptable? Yes. Or too yes. much? No, it's acceptable. <laughs> it's acceptable. Okay, it's acceptable. Okay, $3 for the gas, right? For the gas. Okay, nice. We continue. Okay. And yeah. uh, what? Okay. For the soda. In the chat, in the chat, listen, in the chat, I need you to answer the final question of the lesson 13. Do you like the idea of tipping? Yes, no, and why? Okay. Share your answer in the chat. Okay. Do you like the idea of tipping? Do you like the idea? Yes, no, and why? Okay. In the chat, please write your idea. Say yes, because people serve you and they offer you help and it's good that you give back okay and you recognize the effort or the service etc no because uh some people are not nice so it's not they don't deserve a tip so you express your opinion in one idea one sentence one answer and you write it in the chat okay remember that to improve and to express more it is important that we use the question why, okay? Why is important. Now, let's continue to the exercise 14. The biggest and the best. So this exercise, okay, or this lesson, let's say, is focused on superlatives. But before we go to the, to the exercise on superlatives, I have the, we have some vocabulary, okay? So, just listen and repeat, right? Letter A, bitch, 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 okay? A short sound. I go to the beach every three months, okay? And letter B, desert. 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 Letter, letter C. Forest. 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 But it's not forest gum, right? No, that's another one. That's forest. Okay. Letter D. Hill. 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 Okay. Hill. Letter E. Island. 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 You don't pronounce the letter S. You don't pronounce the letter island. S. You say island. Yep. Island. Okay. The Conchaguita Island in La Unión, right? The Conejo Island. Uh, letter F. Lake. 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 Letter Lake. G. Mountain. 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 Okay. Mountain. mountain. Okay. Let's go. Some people say mountain and other people say mountain. They make a sound here in the in the glottis, right? And they say mountain. But mountain. it's a little more difficult. So you, if you say mountain, it's okay. Mountain. Let's go to the mountain. mountain. Uh, letter H. Ocean. 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 Okay. Ocean. Letter I. River. River. Like the rivers of Babylon. Okay. Letter J. Valley. Valley. valley, 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 okay, valley, a uh, letter K, volcano, 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 volcano. and the last one is waterfall, 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 okay, waterfall, waterfall. correct, waterfall. now, you see the picture, okay, you see the picture, we are going to do the matching, okay, we're going to do the matching, for this exercise. For example, what 
where do you see the, I'm going to activate the annotation so you can use the symbols. Okay, you can use the symbols, for example, where you see the word stamp and stamp, as you can click as option stamp in annotations, you see different symbols. Okay, for example, an arrow, the arrow, letter A, the beach. Where do you see the beach? Uh, this is the beginning where you have the pen. It's letter A here, right? So you see, it's right here. Now, hey, wait a second. Uh, okay, I see what happened. The beach is here. Okay. Letter B, desert. Where is the desert? Can it's you in this point? Part. Can you mark? You can mark if you want with a with an X or with a circle, like I, I did a circle. <laughs> okay, the, the desert is there. Correct. Where is the forest? Forest. It's over there. Where? Is this part? Yes, correct. What about the hill? I forgot. Let me see what it, what is like here. For example, uh, Cerro Verde. That's Montaña. a hill. The Conchagua Hill. Cerro. Mm -hmm. Ah, Cerro. 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 Okay. Okay, okay. Then we continue with island. Ah, uh, island, island is here in the middle with two, three. That is a very strange island. Yes. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Um, then we have lake. What is a lake? It's a so round. Uh, the island. island is here, and the lake is all of this, right? Mm -hmm. I need a, I need a different sim symbol here, circle. Okay, so this is the lake. Okay. Uh, what about the mountain? Uh, it's over there. Um, let me see. Is now this the mountain? Is right here. Okay, the mountain. Then mountain. mountain. And then ocean. The ocean. Is the same the ocean? with the beach? The ocean. It's close to the beach, right? So yes, that's a mountain. Uh, oh. let me see. Ocean. Drawing. Ocean, yes. Ocean. Now what's wrong with here? Three or three. Who's touching the screen? Okay, then river. Where is the river? The rivers came from the lake. So is this for? Is will get guided. The river is here. Oh, okay. mm. I have here, I touch this part. It's like a street. <laughs> <laughs> See, okay. okay, then what about the valley? Mm. Over the valley. Uh -huh. Isn't this uh, near to the. Okay. Near to the. Ah, I forgot the name. Cascada Fall. Near to the waterfall. Waterfall. The waterfall. Okay, near to the, the waterfall. Then volcano. Ah, it's here. As you can see, it's working. Yeah, <laughs> it's erupting. And the waterfall. It's here. The beautiful waterfall is mm -hmm. there, right? Okay, excellent. So those are the, the vocabulary words that we're going to see at the beginning of the, let's say at the beginning of the, of the unit. Uh, can you mention a famous a famous forest in El Salvador? There is one that is very is probably the most famous. In Balboa, here in uh, Los Planes de Renderos. Mm -hmm. Ah, el imposible también. El imposible, right? El imposible. Correct. One island that is very famous in El Salvador. You say the name. Conejo. Conejo. Conejo, Manguera, right? Manguera is very famous. Uh, what about lake? 
Ah, it's most famous. Peke, like... Bulu, Patepeque is the most famous, yes. Patepeque. Uh, the, a river? Lempa. Lem Lempa. Apart from the Lempa? Well, in Aguachapá, we have the, ri the river Peace, Pas. Rio Paz. Hola. <laughs> it's on the river of uh, the Paz River. Grande. You don't translate. You don't translate the names of the of the places, okay? So you say uh, the no. Paz River. Uh -huh. The Lempa River. Uh -huh. Torola River. Torola River. Torola River is famous, yes. Torola. The Grande River in Samuel. Uh -huh. Yes. yes. It's nice. River. Uh, I'm not from San about... Miguel. I don't know. What about volcano? You should come. You should come. What about volcanoes? Ila Matepec. Ila Matepec. Ila Matepec. Ila Matepec. Ila was a terrible experience. Yeah, we sent <laughs> Yeah. And we have the Chaparra sticker here. Volcano Samuel. here Chaparra in San Salvador. Yeah. The Boquerón. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They say that the most difficult or most dangerous is the Chaparra sticker. The number two is the difficulty is a salco. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have never gone to the Chaparrasica only to the salco one. In La Matepec, they say that it's a little easy, um, but it's beautiful. Now, uh, oh, yeah, waterfall, beautiful. waterfall. Hmm. Mm. Uh, yeah, there are waterfall here. I, there are many places. Tamanique, right? Tamanique, there are one here in San uh, Fernando, El Chorrerón. In Huayu, and Huayu, El Chorrerón, and the Huayu. Uh -huh. In Turin, uh -huh. or... ah, the Chorros de la Calera. The yes. Chorros de la Calera, uh -huh. not de la Galera, right? De la Calera. Okay. Calera. Okay, got it. You almost okay. hit the teacher, Jenny. What? Mm -hmm. Jenny said, La Calera. <laughs> de la cadera. Okay, so <laughs> uh, we're going to uh, end up here with a conversation. As you can see, uh, hold on, I'm going to zoom out to zoom in the conversation. So, as you can see here, we have a conversation that is which is larger, which is larger, larger. Okay, large is not largo. Don't get confused. Don't be tricked. Okay. Uh, large is grande. Okay. Like, uh, for example, in the shirt, if you see my shirt, it's size L. That means large. Okay. Uh, it's not largo. What word do we use for largo? Long. 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 Correct. Long. <laughs> okay. Now, listen. Listen to the conversation and read. Listen and read. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know Canada is, Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm. I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded? Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Now, which answer do you think is correct? Let's see your geography knowledge. Brandy, you have a question? No, I try to be, I try to participate. I try to raise the hand before everyone. Ah, ah okay, okay. So, uh, no, but in this case, don't worry. It's not about participation, but which answer do you think is correct? Brandy? For which uh, question? No, which answer? There are different questions and different answers. Which one do you think is correct? Uh, for example, here the word say, uh, I'm not sure thing in Monaco is a crow, crowded. For me is, no, crowded. Is Singapore, I think is crowded. 
Good. Okay, wait a second. I'm just going to read a little bit about the, the read the messages. It's expensive, said Brandy. Yes, because sometimes the waitress uh, help you or taxi drivers find a good hotel or, of course, don't give a tip that doesn't help you. Okay, who does, to people who doesn't help you, right? Yes, because if I have a great service, yes, there are people who provide excellent service. Yes, because are low paid people. Okay, that's a good point. If it is good to tip for the help we receive. Okay, so, um, yep, okay, excellent opinions. Well, let me tell you that all of these answers are incorrect. <laughs> Mississippi rivers? Mississippi is not the largest river in the Americas. The largest river in the Americas is the Amazon River yeah. in Brazil. It's correct. China is larger than Canada. Singapore is more crowded <laughs> than Monaco. Uh, I say Singapore. Yeah, I know. La Paz is the highest capital in... Uh, in of the three so all these these answers were incorrect so you can tell that uh wendy is not good for geography <laughs> okay now <laughs> that's the conversation okay so practice it at home right practice it okay because tomorrow we're going to the breakout rooms and you're going to be with another person okay and you don't know if you're going to be my wendy or both so you need to practice the pronunciation and especially, especially pay attention to the intonation in the questions. For example, which country is larger, China or Canada? China or Canada? What's the longest river in the, what's the longest river in the Americas? Okay, so, um, and then we're going to stop here just to give you the little, um, let's say, review okay, or preview of the topic, we have comparisons with adjectives. Of course, we're going to see the comparisons and the superlatives, okay, uh, comparatives and superlatives. So, for example, I have a couple of questions for you, okay, trivia time. Um, which one, which one is more, let's say, Popular. Which one is more popular? Ferreo uh, music or bachata? Ferreo music. Yeah. Ferreo is more popular than bachata. Okay. Who is more famous? Who is more famous? Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio or the teacher? The teacher. <laughs> the teacher. The teacher. The teacher. Was a joke. Famous, right? I'm so sorry. Yeah, it was a joke. It was a joke. <laughs> okay. Next. Who is more beautiful? Beyonce or Britney Spears? Both. <laughs> Who is more beautiful? Beyonce. 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 Beyonce is more beautiful than Britney Spears. Because it's younger, yes. I think. She's more beautiful. Now, who is more millionaire? Who is more millionaire? Uh, Lionel Messi or, uh, or Ronaldinho? Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi is, <laughs> is more millionaire. Okay. Now, um, this is the discussion, the, the big question. Which team is better? Barcelona or Real Madrid? Barcelona. Barcelona. Real Madrid. No Real Madrid coach. Okay. Reactions. Reactions. Okay. If you think that is Barcelona, Show me a heart. If you think that is Real Madrid, show me a uh, Tara. Okay, Madrid, Tara, and reaction a heart is for Barcelona. So let's see which reaction is. 
more popular in this group. Okay. Heart, Heart, Barcelona, okay, two. Juan Tara, Real Madrid. Okay, so only two people. Okay, Barcelona, another one here. Nice, nice. Okay, now, um, it's difficult to, 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 to decide, right? Because both of them are very popular. But uh, everybody has their own preferences. That's okay. Uh, now, that is comparative. When we have two things, two people, two places, okay? Uh, for example, which city is hotter, San Miguel or Burkin? San Miguel City. San Miguel is hotter, hotter than than Burkin. Burkin. Than Burkin. So we use the 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 adverb than. Okay, than here. See than. Yeah. To compare, to compare, okay? Beyonce is more beautiful than Britney Spears. Now, uh, ladies, I have a question for you. I, I only ask for boys, right? Beyonce or Britney, for girls. Who is more handsome? Mm -hmm. um, Superman or Captain America? Captain America. Captain America. Captain America. Captain America. He's more handsome than Superman. Okay, okay, that's one question for the girls. One question for the boys. Gentlemen, who is more, who is stronger? Who is stronger? Who is stronger? Uh, Batman or Iron Man? Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> Iron Man is stronger than Batman. Iron Man is stronger than Batman, yes. yes you know. Yes. yes. Melvin knows. Melvin knows. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, so that's comparative. But superlative is when we have three or more. And from the three, we select one. For example, who do you think, who do you think is the most famous Salvadorian. I will give you three options. The most famous Salvadorian. Okay. Alvaro Torres, Kim Flip, and Teacher Freddy. Ah, teacher Freddy. Teacher Freddy. In the class is the teacher. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But in El Salvador, the most famous Salvadorian is Alvaro Torres. Salvadorian is Alvaro Torres. Alvaro Torres is the most famous. Pay attention. The most, the most famous Salvadorian. Okay. Well, for the new generations, the most famous Salvadorian is Fernand Flor, right? Uh, but that's the new Salvadorian. The new generations. Okay. Now. Um, so that's the way that we do it. So tomorrow, I recommend you again, study this. And tomorrow we are going to practice, okay? A little bit more. So that will be all for today, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me. If you don't have questions, well, thank you for your attention and your participation. Uh, so don't forget, study the tongue twister, Betty Bottom, for tomorrow. And, uh, and that's it, right? So practice the conversation because tomorrow we're going to the conversation in the breakout rooms. Uh, okay, so have a good night, everybody. Get enough rest and good see night. you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night, everyone. Au revoir. Thank have a good you night, everyone. too. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good have a good night. night. Good you say good evening good when, you, good when you say hello. You say good night when you say good goodbye. Night. Mm -hmm. good, night. good night. Good night. Take care. I was, take a I was shower. Reading. I was ready. Ah, okay, okay, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Bye. Okay.